All right, what do we start with? Um, let's see. Should I start with someone positive or someone controversial? Let's actually do the low rarity guys first, These, this trio over here. So we've got uh, Rangers, Noir Corn, and 12F. Now I think the worst of them is 12F. He's the least interesting. Uh, and I also don't like using him to be honest. But he's not bubble tier. His design, like his weird alien design is slightly redeemable. Uh, Rangers, I think, is probably the coolest one of them. I like his voice. I like his, um, uh, you know, the, the unique thing that he does, just being purely anti-drone, which is actually quite useful. Um, I think he should perhaps... The decisions whether... Does he go into A tier, like low A, or does he go into B? I know he's kind of cool. And he was also in the uh, Originium Dust story. And I think Noircorn goes in the middle. So, Noircorn in B. I think Rangers is probably going to be the bottom of A. Uh, and then 12F and C. He's a little dull. Let's go for some old classics from the early days of my team. So, we've got uh, Courier, Spot, Ansel and bison these were the core these were core units when i first started out until i got saria recently actually no even with saria in terms of just raw tanking he's still bison is still the best tank i've got uh, that i've got built i still haven't built cora <laughs> so uh courier i think is actually kind of cool i quite like him he's like a Old reliable, old reliable guy. Um, I like his I like his sword as well. His attack animations and such are quite cool. He's a very simple, like safe, safe character. But he doesn't, uh, but he doesn't stand out that much though. So I don't know if he goes into the high B or if I put him just above Rangers in A. I feel like I feel like he needs to go into the A tier because he seems like a reliable dude, and I like people who are reliable. Now, Spot, uh, contrary to what people think about Spot being the worst, he's nowhere near the worst. I think Spot is an easy B tier, probably high in the B tier. I like using him. I have him as a core operator all the time. It's really useful. He's perfect for fighting those goddamn eggs. <laughs> and I think his uh, skin greatly improves on his art as well. While still keeping him looking like the default. In fact, <clears throat> Spot's skin is basically what default Spot should have looked like. Or it's essentially his E2 art. Uh, it's very similar to uh, to the basic. Uh, Ansel. Ansel I use all the time. In terms of an, op like an actual usable operator, Ansel is easily one of my most used operators. And I recommend him on every single new account. He is... He way above his pay grade as a three star. However, his design is crap. I hate like these girly little anime boys that are very clearly trying to, you know, it's just, just terrible. It, it just doesn't look good as a character. It just looks awful. It, it doesn't even look like a... It's not even like the Bishonen style. You know, like... Um, uh, what are they called? You know, like the the characters that... From all those clamp manga. Or things like... Um, 
you know, there's a lot of Chinese, uh, Chinese manga and anime that have like those really, you know, like elegant, pretty boys, right? No, no, not boys love. I mean, just like pretty boys. Uh, there's a difference between them and Ansel. Ansel just looks like crap. Whereas like pretty boys, you can still have some really cool looking pretty boys, like the, like the guys from um, Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation, right? Like those are very like, you know, effeminate looking dudes, but they still look cool. Whereas Ansel just looks crap. Not a fan at all of Ansel. Now Bison, Bison is, he's a cool guy. Uh, he's definitely going into the A tier for me. I like, um, I like, uh, I like Bison's design. I think he, he's similar to me. He's like the, the, the courier, the tank version of courier. Old, reliable, um, really, uh, you know, really nice guy. <laughs> So yes, he definitely goes into the A tier for me. And I've got a bit of a soft spot, considering I've had him since the beginning. Of, and for the longest time, he was my only defender alongside Spot. All right. Um, I think we need to pick someone for the higher tier. We've got to set a bit of a benchmark for the higher tiers. Let's see. You know what? We'll go, we'll do, we'll do the fairies. We'll do some of the furries. Uh, who else is there? All right, we'll, we'll do these the, the triple fairy squad. Okay. And there's Lee, but I'll leave Lee for later because he's a he's a future operator. Right, we've got the three remaining furries. Hung. We'll start with him. I'm not the biggest fan, but he's not the worst thing ever. I think the biggest problem with Hung is he's completely uninteresting. I don't think he's he's bad design. I just think he's really dull. If you told me that Arknights has a fairy character, Hung is exactly what I would what I would expect. So Hung, you go into the C tier. Ark, on the other hand, is He's a much more interesting design, especially, uh, especially his skin. For those who haven't seen it, let's bring it up because it's not out in uh, global yet. And also, uh, Ark's personality is great. Uh, where is it? This one. Healing Hand, Evil Heart. What a great skin name. And then just look at that art. That is really cool. You know, that's an awesome skin. So I think Ark is a much more interesting design uh, for a fairy type character. Don't know what he's doing there. So yeah, uh, Ark way cooler than uh, than the others, and in fact, Ark is going to go into A tier. Now I don't know if I like him more than these two or not, because I feel like these two are would be together. We'll leave him at, at further up for the moment. Because his skin is really cool. And I do like his crazy personality. So I think I'll... On the count of his skin, I think... It, that bumps him up a bit. Because if you've got his skin, you've got a, a much improved look. Then we come to Mountain. Now, Mountain... Uh, originally... Wasn't a big fan of this guy. But... Once you start to use him... And then... You hear how awesome his voice is, and he's got these really cool badass lines, and he's just such a dude. He's he's a dude, dude. You know, he's a he's a character from the Yakuza series. This guy went from 
frankly being near hung tier for me in terms of uh, me liking this character all the way up to S tier. I think Mountain is an awesome character. I love pretty much everything about him. His E2 art is really cool. He's got great voice lines. He's got a strong personality. His voice work is amazing. His skills are great. I love the thundering fist sound effect on his skill too. I love the, you know, the hardcore badass AoE slam that he does on skill three. So yes, Mountain goes all the way up to S tier. Easy, easy S tier. Uh, who do we do next? Let's see. So we've got a bit of a benchmark for the S tier now. Now for the S, should we do something for the S plus? Uh, let me think. What set can I do that might contain an S plus character? Is there an S plus amongst the four stars? That's a good question. Now S, I don't give out S pluses willy nilly. I'm not. I'm not like most people, just giving them out like they're just free candy. We've got to be very selective about them. Uh, actually, let's do, before we do any, any of those, let's do the forgotten characters. <laughs> the characters that I often forget even exist in this game. Uh, and who is the other one? I know that there was one more that I saw earlier. this guy right these five characters i swear to god i often forget they exist in the game now to be fair i've only got one of them on one of my accounts and kiave of, of all characters kiave is the one that i forget about the most that he could that he exists at all so where do i rate these characters uh honestly I think Kiave goes in C. He's pretty dull. Uh, I've borrowed and used him a little bit just to see uh, what he's like. I think he's kind of dull. Despite the memes, Aosta's not that great. <laughs> so I think Aosta just goes into the B tier. It's funny for the memes, but he's kind of as dull as the meme itself. Uh, Leonhardt, he's got a bit more energy, a bit more personality uh, than the others. He's... He is a better designed version of Ansel, to be honest. So I think he probably also goes in the B tier. And I reckon I'd probably put him right in the mid B tier. Uh, Sessa is, is not very interesting to use as a character. Uh, in fact, he's kind of crap. <laughs> but uh, he's got a bit more personality than the others. And I think he probably goes also into the B tier. He's got a bit of the cool factor. Uh, I might actually put him higher up in the B tier. Uh, and then Iascarp. I do not like this design at all. Let me explain to you why. There is something I hate in anime character designs. Now, you people should be able to spot this if you watch the previous tier list. I hate medical eye patches and band-aids. I hate medical eye patches and band-aids that are a core part of a character's design. Where the character always has it on. And when I say eye patch, I don't mean an actual eye patch. I mean one of those med temporary medical ones that you should not wear for a long time. I think it makes them look absolutely stupid you add on the raincoat and it's just like come on man are you even trying don't like the ears either i think the ears just look really goofy there's pretty much nothing i like about this character design then we look at the skin it looks a little cooler um the bandage is gone which is an improvement uh, i like the weapon the weapon looks really cool in this one whereas it's not that interesting over here uh, I do like how the how they, you know, the suit make looks built for purpose, um, and the art, the, the environmental art is kind of cool. Although I don't like the uh, the scraps in the way, I think it obscures the art in a bit of annoying fashion. 
So basically, the only thing that saves him pretty much from the bubble tier is the fact that he's got that skin. Uh, Ansel still looks goofier, and Ansel's skin may even look worse than his default. So Ansel is not saved by his skin. So I think you probably go right there in the C tier. But really, you're on thin ice, mate. You're on thin ice. Be grateful for that skin, because honestly, your design is... Default design is generally one of the worst male characters in this game. By far. Uh, let's do the two characters that I keep getting confused with. For a longer time, I thought these two were the same character. Like, in my head, with Steward and other guy, <laughs> Whenever I would see one, I thought I was looking at both. I didn't, for a very long time, I didn't realize there were two different characters. <laughs> they just look way too similar. This guy is a very bland looking Asian boy band wannabe looking cat boy or whatever the hell he's meant to be. I think he's really dull. And he's really uninteresting. Steward, if you if this is Steward, I'm mean, I can never remember which one's which. You're going down into the low C tier. C tier. You're kind of dull. Now this guy's got a bit more of an interesting design, uh, but unfortunately, like a lot of three stars, his personality is not that strong. So you're going to go into the low end of the B tier. If there is a male bubble, we'll find out. Alright. I've been shitting on a lot of operators. Let's do some cooler stuff. Let's bring on... Uh, let's do some long-haired dudes. Right. Uh, who else is there? We'll do Heliger. And... We'll do Mr. Nothing as well. Alright. These four. Now, Mr. Nothing. This probably won't search because you need the dot. Because GamePress's search engine is terrible. Mr. Nothing already looks quite cool. I really like his default. But then he looks even more awesome in in his really uh, in his recent skin. And He's got an awesome voice as well. He's simply a really cool dude. Mr. Nothing, you may not be the best in your class, but you are hella awesome. So you go to S tier. Easy, easy S tier for me. Midnight, uh, Beeswax's boyfriend. He's a vampire. Vampires are already cool. He also has a classic vampire design so he's got your you know your, your typical goth vampire look and then he's got this skin which just looks really sweet what I like most about this skin is the background the, the statue the blood bats the moon it's super Castlevania very cool looking uh, looking character uh, the only thing I wish with him is that he had just a bit... A, a lot of the three stars feel neglected. Some of them seem to get a lot of love. But others just don't have enough involvement in anything. So you don't really get enough character from them. So uh, I'm going to put Midnight high in the A tier. Elysium. Uh, your basic pretty boy. Uh, how is, how is Axe's girlfriend? You need to watch one of my videos about it. Now, default Elysium, kind of dull. I like the equipment and the outfit more than the character uh, itself. But that E2 art is really quite cool. Uh, and then he's got this, you know, really nice festive, um, you know, civilian outfit. So he is quite cool. And I like, I like the birds. 
the bird motifs look great. I don't know what's with all the telescopes everywhere. Uh, I'm sure it means something. Maybe it's related to the birds or it's got to do with his flag. Oh no, he um he's like a scout, isn't he? So he uses the telescopes to scout stuff or something. So I think he's kind of cool. Elysium looks way cooler than on first impression. Uh, also, where's his voice actor? If I remember correctly, He voices one of my favorite characters, and that's Orphan from uh, from anime. So on top of that, he also has a cool voice. So he's got some great um, uh, some great art, extremely good, extremely powerful to use in combat, obviously, and and he supports snipers, one of my favorite classes. So Elysium, for that, you go into S tier. He's a cool dude. Definitely a cool guy. I very much uh, like Elysium, and I should really make more use of him. I have him on, on two of my accounts, and he's not built on either. Thank you, Nightbot, for the reminder to drink some water. Now, we come to Heliger. My first top operator tag, I got him by accident. I didn't know I could combine tags. I just put, picked him blindly. Uh... And he's got a really cool theme. He's got that whole, you know, samurai theme going for him with a, you know, a bit more, uh, not samurai, uh, I need to search for Heliger. He's got a really cool theme. His abilities look great. I love the giant sword slash, the, the double moon slash. It's all absolutely awesome. He was uh, one of the, for a long time, he was my uh, front screen, you know, assistant operator on his E2 art. That is such cool looking E2 art. And then you've got this skin, which is like the essence of less is more, the rule of cool, you know, just real simple, great, great outfit i love the background i love the story that it tells in just this one simple image and on top of that his voice is excellent he's got some great lines so heliger right up into s plus absolutely love this guy i know he's not the strongest six star in the game anymore but man do i love heliger as you know i am not one to buy skins very often uh, I think I've only ever bought two skins in this game. And that was for Ash's Disguise and for Heliger. I believe those are the only two skins I've ever bought. So yes, Heliger, easily worth going into the S plus tier for me. Right, let's do the two foreigners. Okay. Tachanka a Russian accent and the stuff he says and his character in the the story they gave him in Originium Dust is just fantastic. I think Tachanka is an awesome guy. I think he's really fun. Uh, I wish they'd made him stronger, to be honest. I, w I really wish they'd made him stronger so that you could, you know, use him more and he was, you know, a, a bit less reliant on the RNG. Uh, it's also really weird how he's a guard. He's a duelist guard, but he uses a gun. Like That's just really funny to me. Um, so, I think he's worthy of the S tier. Now, where in the S tier does he go? I think Tachanka needs to go. Does he go above mountain or not? No, I think I'm going to put him right below Mountain. Tachanka, S tier. Easily. He tells casuals to parry this. <laughs> Absolutely. That is... Uh, 
<laughs> that is the chunk in a nutshell. Then we've got Blitz. Now, the funniest thing about Blitz is this one line that he, he uses all the time, which is, do you think we have time to go to the bathroom? I don't know why that line makes me laugh every single time. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's just so funny. And he's also really nice. He's a really kind guy. You know, when you, I think it's when you assign him to the base, he says, uh, let's say hello to our neighbors. Um, I'm pretty, isn't he German? I didn't have, I didn't think he was Polish. I thought he, I thought he was German, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think he's really funny. The only thing about him is, is he cool enough for the S tier? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I think he's got to go high A tier, because when you compare him to someone like Tachanka, Tachanka is is a uh, is way cooler. So you, you need to make the distinction. And so I think Blitz needs to sit down in the A tier. Okay, we've been there's been a bit too much praise going on at the moment. We need to. Um, we need, a, we need a dunk on some more operators first before we praise anything further. Right. Mizuki. Now, the other day I said Golden Glow wasn't really uh, my design, my type of character. And visually, I still stand by that. I think a sprite is adorable and I think uh, I really like it when she activates her skill three. The animations are very cute. And her voice is, her voice is adorable as well. But I don't feel strongly about her either way. Mizuki, on the other hand, his abilities are awesome. I love the theme of his abilities. And particularly skill three. Such a cool looking skill. I really like that. Uh, I also like the jellyfish hat. The jellyfish hat is the best part of his design. However, I do not like his voice and I do not like the rest of his design. Does he have enough though to be redeemed from the C tier? He's not bubble tier because he's got enough to stand out of the bubble tier. I think his theme and his abilities are strong enough to keep him out of the bottom, out of the C tier. And in fact, he's got a bit more personality and a bit more going on than these guys. I'm going to put him there, in the B tier. I think Spot is cooler. People like to shit on Spot, but I think Spot is cooler than Mizuki. On the other hand, the other guy from DeSolace Holiday, Tequila, this guy is way, the surfer dude is way cooler than Mizuki. The free guy who's slowly sharpening his blade, uh, brother to adorable La Pluma. And he's a golden retriever as well. I mean, you couldn't pick a friendlier animal. And he's a terrorist. He's a golden retriever terrorist. <laughs> so, the question is, does he go into the S tier? I don't think he's quite that good. So I'll put him high in the A tier. I'll put him high in the A tier. But I don't think he's S tier worthy. Not for me. Uh, let's do the two upcoming weirdos. The weirdos, the weird ones. Right, we've got Snake Man. And I think this is another snake. I think they're both snakes, aren't they? Uh... What's this guy's name again? What's the other snake guy called? The guy from Integrated Strategies. I can never... Shalem, that's it. Now, the thing about Coro Serum... I... Don't find him to be that awesome. And also, his voice is kind of annoying. 
I was actually quite disappointed uh, in that guy. And then we've got Shalem, who, you know, he's got a bit of that midnight vibe going for him. Uh, the background on his art looks really cool. I love the snake coiling behind the pillar. That's really cool. Yeah, I am not a big fan of Chorus Hero. But he's not that uninteresting. I think... I think Chorus Hero goes in the middle of B. That's roughly where I put him. He's got some points about him that I like, and then there's other points I just really don't like. Now, Shalem, he's much cooler. Uh, I think he belongs in the A tier. He's What holds him back is he's... We haven't seen enough of him. Uh, maybe if he's got um, a bit more story and stuff, he might be a bit more interesting. But I think around the mid A tier is good for me. Yeah, Coruscant, I honestly, all amongst like uh, characters that I was looking forward to, he was one of the most disappointing in terms of the way they uh, they voiced and, you know, the, his lines and stuff. He's just kind of annoying. <laughs> okay. Let's get a few of the five stars out of the way quickly. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. All right, this is the remaining five stars, I think. I think everybody else is four or six or a robot. Okay, Executor. Uh, I'll be honest, for a very long time, I thought they, I thought he was Elysium. I'm not going to lie, I thought that was Elysium. <laughs> it was the same situation as, uh, as these two. Uh, now, Executor is kind of cool. And he, similar to Elysium... I think that's how you spell it. His E1 is pretty cool. You know, a fairly standard guy. Uh, but then you've got this really cool skin as well. Skin is cool. I like the the wings look awesome. You know, he's, he's a Sanctus. He's got the Halo. Halos are automatically kind of cool. And I also like his job description as well. Now... Where to place him, though? I think he belongs in the A tier. But I don't think he's as interesting as someone like Ark. So I think he needs to go below Ark. Right. Locked in. Finalized. Flamebringer. Flamebringer is one of the weakest units in the game. For a five-star. Uh, but his design is really cool. However, he is a tad cliche uh, for an anime anime character design, but he's pretty cool, man. I, I like the way they got these bat-like wings out of his cape. The flames are really cool. He's got this funky sword. You know what? He, he looks like a Bleach character. He absolutely looks like a character out of Bleach. I think Flamebringer is pretty damn cool. Uh, I'm going to put him in the A tier, right above Rangers. I don't like him as much as these two old reliables, but he's pretty cool. Now, Broca, on the other hand, um, for a long time, I thought he was a fairy character until uh, a friend of mine explained what's the difference between a fairy and a Neko Mimi character. He's got a very weird weapon. He's got a drill on the front and he's got a saw on the back. That's just weird. Uh, also, the proportions of his arms are a little off in terms of the length. And his head is kind of tiny. He's got a very small head. So I actually really don't like his E1 art. However, his E2 art, that is way cooler. Much cooler art. Uh, this guy is definitely deserving of a skin. Uh, I think... He's also one of those more often forgotten characters, to be honest. This icon over here makes him look really crap, because I really don't like his E1 art. But I think he is cool enough to go into the A tier. Locked in. Final decision. A tier. No discussions, no opinions, all facts. Locked in. 
I know there's a lot of Brocka fans uh, in the chat. The two robots. Guard, uh, uh, castle, sorry. Now the robot, all robots are automatically kind of cool. I like their personalities already. So you, you, you can never go into the, you can't go into the C tier as one of your robots. But castle is not that awesome. So I think castle goes high into the B tier. However, Therma EX, this dude, I love his voice. He's got a, a really awesome voice. And in fact, if you don't know his voice actor yet, <laughs> how do you spell this guy's name again? Did it spell T-E-R? Oh, it's, that's right. It's abbreviated. Therm, E-X, there we go. His voice actor Uh, let's bring it up. He plays a bunch of awesome characters, but let me find one character in particular. Hang on. Uh, he voices a, a little lesser known anime. He voices this character in uh, Akko 13, which I really like, but that's not the one in particular. He voices Sakamoto from uh, obviously the Sakamoto anime, which is which is great. Uh, and he's also uh, where is he? Where the hell is he? This list, the the ordering on this list is really throwing me off. Oh, he voices a character in Clanad. My condolences. Uh, he voices a, a, a quite a badass in Code Geass, the guard to the um, to the, uh, the the Chinese leader woman, and he also voices. Uh, doesn't he voice? There's a character in Gundam that was really cool that he voiced. I'm pretty sure. He also did Reinhardt in just one... Hang on. Did the original actor die? I think so. I mean, look. Anyone who voices Reinhardt is already awesome in my books. I mean, that's just... That's just cool. Yeah, he's, he's voiced a whole ton of really awesome characters. I love this voice actor. And the thing is, he's a really big voice actor. And the, the greatest thing it, that they did in Arknights with him is they just made him... Um, they made him just a robot, you know? It's it's like getting, you know, a, an actor as big as George Clooney and just making him like the, uh, you know, the voice of a computer in a show, which is great. Actually, uh, I think you're right about Castle. I forgot about Castle and Clo Closure's Secret Files. So Castle, you belong up in the A tier. Uh, the robot's got a lot of love in in that. But Thermi EX, you go into the S tier. I love this guy's you know suicidal tendencies. I I like his voice lines. I think he's so so funny. Uh, and yes, he's the voice of Gnosis as well, isn't he? And Gnosis is, well, we'll get to Gnosis in a bit. But yes, Therma EX, S tier for me. I love this dude. <laughs> I think he was the first robot I ever got. Um, uh, except for, I think you maybe get given Lancer, but I think he's the first one I pulled. And uh, you assign him to the power plant all the time, and every time I do, he just says the funniest stuff. And he was also featured on one of the uh, live streams. They had a, a model built of him. Yeah. Happy to be of service and boom. <laughs> See you later. All right. Let's finish the rest of the four stars. And then we'll just have a bunch of sixes left. Okay. 
We've got Matterhorn. Matterhorn is... I like how he's, you know, got that Minotaur look to him. I just wish he was a tad more interesting in design and personality. Oh, I keep searching the, the, the word that I'm using for him. Uh, matter. Oh. Hang on. That's not how you spell it? Oh. N, not M. See, I, I wish Matterhorn was a bit a bit cooler in design. Now, you've obviously got the beach skin, you know, one for the ladies. Uh, that's that's kind of cool. His E2 art is an improvement. I do love the uh, the Minotaur in the background, the, the the bull in the background. That's a that's a pretty cool looking uh, looking artwork. And he's got close ties to Silver Ash, which you know is already pretty cool. So. Where does he belong? Does he belong higher up on the B tier or do I put him at the lower end of the A tier? I think the main thing that's going to bring him down to the B tier for me is that we just need more of him. So he's going to go in the B tier. And in fact, I'm going to put you below Mizuki because his abilities and stuff aren't are kind of dull as well. Mizuki's abilities are more interesting. Uh, J. Sushi Chef J. Complete blase dude. Uh, I like. I really liked. Someone made a very adorable comic uh, of Jay about to cook some sea urchin, and then Thorns walks in the kitchen, just stares at Jay. Jay stares back. Jay puts the knife down. Thorns walks out. <laughs> I wonder if I can find that comic. Unfortunately, I saw it on Reddit, and Reddit is the worst place to search for. Uh, Thorns, J, Dark Knights, Comic, Reddit. Let's see if I can find it. Yes, I found it. Hey, excellent. This comic. I, I think this comic is great. <laughs> now, don't tell Thorns I said this, but uh, sea urchin tastes really nice. <laughs> yes, Thorns is a sea urchin. It's why whenever there's a, 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 uh, a banner to do with Thorns, I uh, use a sea urchin instead of Thorns' art to represent him. But yes. Uh, great comic. Oh, hang on. Let me open that back up. And that comic was made by... Uh, AKHS underscore O1. Uh... I don't know if they've done any other comics, but if this is any indication... Actually, no, they have done other comics. I do really like the other comics by this person. Uh, uh, unfortunately, they've submitted a whole bunch of stuff. So I can't find just, just their own OC material, but there's some great comics by that user. <clears throat> okay. J, for me, is S tier. <clears throat> I like his attitude. I like his uh, I like his design. I like uh, the the way he works. You know, as, as a as a unit, using him is really fun. The question is, where does he go in this S tier? I think he's cooler than Elysium, but maybe not quite as cool as Mister Nothing. I think Jay, right there, right there, is cool, and I do really like his voice as well. Uh, we'll leave Gray for a moment. Then we've got Ethan. Uh, I actually like Default J more. Although I do like his summer skin as well. I think I just think that his default uh, shows his personality a bit more. <clears throat> yeah, and the the, uh, the skin condition he has as well. It's rare to see that on characters. Uh, Ethan. 
Now, Ethan at first kind of annoyed me, but after his appearance in Closure's Secret Files and using him a bit more, he's really warmed up on me. I I think he's definitely the coolest of the uh, of the uh, the ambushes. I also like how it plays that sound effect when you deploy him. It's really weird that a free four star gets special treatment <clears throat> with the sound effect. You know, the, the, the Scardi uh, type treatment. So I think Ethan is easily worth the A tier. And in fact, he's going to go the higher end of A tier, but just below Ark. He's got a bit of that crazy... I, He's got a bit of that delinquent personality that I like. I, I like his uh, his appearance in Closure Secret Files is great. So yes, Ethan, you're going to go into the A tier for me. Uh, Arine. Now, Arine is an operator I recommend to everyone to build and use, especially if you're on your new account. He's a really powerful operator. But you know what? I actually do not like his design. I think he's probably the worst looking of the uh, the Sancta. I think his E2 art looks even worse. He looks like a failed Persona character. And his uh, skin just looks like his regular art in a different pose. It, to me, it just doesn't look that different. His E1 art is still pretty much the best and thankfully most of the time you just look at his headshot and his headshot's okay but it's like once you get from the shoulders down the character design just looks awful I think honestly the debate is does he look worse than Ansel and he's also got no personality as well I honestly I think I'm going to put him below Ansel Below Ansel. The one thing that makes Ansel a little bit cooler is that Ansel face plants when you deploy him. That's it. That's it. Ansel's deployment animation is what saves him. <laughs> okay, and then we come to Grey. Now, Grey, don't like his voice, don't like his personality, don't like his design. It's not a very good operator to use skills aren't very there's just nothing about gray that i like i just don't like the look of this dude at all i even i, I even don't like the fact that his name is two Y's in it the skin is kind of cute but to me it doesn't really save him I didn't like the E2 art either. I think that's the first time I've ever seen it. Honestly, I think Grey is the bubble tier. Grey, you belong in the bubble tier. Now, compared to the female operators of the bubble tier, he'd probably be towards the top, mainly because of his skin. In fact, he might be the top of the bubble tier. But honestly, he's in the bubble tier. He's not that annoying, but it, I just don't like his voice. I don't like anything about... He doesn't have anything about him that I like to, to pull him out of that tier. So yeah, honestly, great. You are the bubble tier of the male operators. Right. Now, we arrive at the remaining six stars. So, how are we going to do this? We've got the two future operators. Let's do the two future operators first. We've got Gnosis and we've got Lee. Now, since these aren't out yet and... I'm going to assume not everybody has seen them in all their glory. I have both of these characters on my uh, CN account. So there's Gnosis Tier 1 and then uh, uh, Elite 1 and then Elite 2. You've got extremely awesome art. And he has such an awesome voice, some really awesome lines. His whole freezing theme is really cool. I love his abilities absolutely love using this guy and yes he is michael jackson from uh i think from thriller <laughs> michael jackson's thriller outfit but on top of that he's got that awesome pimp cane with the, the the sharp bit at the top 
And he's got a really cool looking coat. Oh my god. Love Gnosis. S plus tier. Gnosis S plus tier. He is so awesome. Love this dude. There's nothing about Gnosis I dislike. The only thing I, I may slightly change is I would... If I, if I had to change one thing, if they gave me just a slight, slight creative control over this guy, is I would just get rid of the red from the the bit of hair on the side of his face. Just leave it on the on the, the top, but get rid of the red on on the side. That's it. That's that's the only thing I would change. There's nothing else about him that I would change. I think this guy is awesome. And ever since I've got him, I've used him all the time on my CN account, and I will absolutely be pulling for him on my global. Uh, I think he's really cool. Love this dude. And he also, uh, in anime terms, he does look like Sakamoto in his uh, <laughs> in his E1 art. Okay, then we got Lee. So Lee is uh, another fairy character. And let's bring him up for those who haven't seen his art. So, he is a uh, shady merchant type character. He's got a really cool voice. And if you look at his E2 art, I mean, just look at that. Look at that art. That is so cool. I love, love that background. I love the visual style. That classic paint, you know, East Asian painting style. It looks so cool. And he's got a great personality as well. Uh, I love his voice lines. I like how um, his uh, victory screen voice lines are him pretending to have been paying attention the entire time. And he's like, oh, we won? Oh, that's great. I, I never doubted you. <laughs> you know, so he is just, yeah, this, this skin in Life 2D would be really cool. I think he's really cool. Now, is he S plus tier worthy? When I compare him to what I have up in the S plus tier, I don't think so. Because you have to, you, you, you're, you're up against the giants when you're an S plus. And as much as I love this guy, I don't think he's quite that cool. So I'm going to put Lee in the S tier. He's going to be high S tier. I'm going to put him right below Mountain. I love this dude, but I don't think he's S plus tier to me. Because of what you're going up against. You, you have you have to stack up against the Giants, and I think uh, high S tier is very good for you. Now keep in mind, many of many most of these operators that you see here in the male list, if you stack them up against the female list, there'd be a lot more of these characters higher up in that tier compared to the female characters. So if we're looking at the S tier, uh, for the male characters, most of them would be in the top half of S, even against the female characters, because most of them are really quite cool. Now, we've got the OG males. Uh, let's do, uh, we'll do Silver Ash and uh, Phantom, because they're the, they're the two older ones. Right, we'll start with Phantom. Now, Phantom, A, he's French, so that's automatically, uh, you're automatically cool. Second, he's like the assassin archetype, which is one of my favorite, favorite uh, archetypes in, in fantasy and, you know, like RPGs and all that. Also, he's got a cat, a really adorable looking black cat with two tails, which is straight up cool. I love his E2 art, all the candles, all that, that opera to it, that art, ah, it looks so nice. And on top of that, he's got a great voice. Uh, he's also a little bit crazy. He's a little bit psycho. So he's got a, he's got a interesting personality. You know, he's not, they didn't make him like the, uh, the quiet brooding type, which would have been uh, made him a cliche. And then, if you want something a little different, 
you've got his other you've got his skin and the clone on his skin is the coolest looking thing ever i love the look of the clone on his skin i wish i could combine his default uh model but with his skin clone it is so cool and on top of that he's getting the live 2d uh the live 2d skin which gives him that phantom of the opera skin yes yeah, totally bloodborne and he's a fast reader boy one of my favorite uh uh class types there is really nothing about phantom i dislike there's nothing about him i dislike s plus s plus phantom now how does he stack up against the others in the s plus that's the question i think i think he's a touch above gnosis to be honest i think he's a touch above gnosis i'll put him right there between gnosis and helga but man like it's really competitive up there really competitive then we come to silver ash now the thing about silver ash is it's a uh, for a long time i am undecided on on silver ash's design because his default you just look at his e1 he's got the cool cape again he's got that you know uh not as cool as gnosis's cape but he's got a, he's got that cool cape the bird is cool you got yourself a pet bird you're automatically awesome. The bird pecks people in the eye. I like that. Like the bird. Like the cane. Snow leopard theme. Very nice. Uh, his overall design is great. The problem is... You look at his E2... And... What the hell is this E2 art? Apart from the spell effect... There is pretty much nothing, and the sword, there's pretty much nothing I like about this E2 art. Which is why I will be buying uh, a skin for him. And here's the thing. The E2 art is kind of crappy. But he has not one, but two top tier skins. He's got the rich businessman, you know, CEO of an entire country, basically, kind of guy. And this skin... Which, if I can open up the animation. He carries the leopard in the bag. And it it's animated and it hides in the bag and then it pops out. It is the cutest thing you have ever seen. It is so adorable. I love this skin. Look at the, just look at that little leopard. It's so cute! I mean, just look at it. And so, he, with this skin, he has not one, but two pets, which is just so cute. And then he's got the other skin, which uh, just, I think it just recently left the store. You got the, the Buccaneer Silver Ash. He upgrades that cape. He gets a nice hat, probably given to him by, um, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. It's the sort of thing Jack Sparrow would gift. Ah, oh, what a cool skin. And on top of that, they even managed to capture the essence of his cool in the sprite itself. Because on the sprite, he has perpetual wind blowing uh, against him, which makes the coat flutter in the wind. I mean, that's just so cool. I was really undecided on which skin I was going to get for him. But I decided I'm going to wait for this one. So, despite having probably the worst E2 art amongst six stars in the game. <laughs> with those two awesome skins. He's got some cool abilities as well. I like his, uh, oh, the sound effect of his big swing swing. The swing swing. Oh man, that is so cool. He's got a good voice as well. I like his personality. I like the memes uh, related to, you know, trying to get the, the Doctor to marry Promanix. That's really cool. He goes into the S plus tier. Easy S plus. Now, the only thing is, I think the others are a bit cooler, but definitely into the S plus tier. I think Silver Ash is awesome. I just need to get something to replace his E2 art. That's, that's all I need.
and uh, he's also featured quite heavily in um, uh, in Break the Ice. So if you're a Silver Ash fan, you've got uh, lots of stuff to look look forward to. So we come to the final two operators. We've got Passenger and we've got Thorns. Now, my history with Passenger is a little turbulent. I pulled him when I was trying to get either Mountain or Silver Ash on their standard banner. I got him by accident near, I think it was near Pity. And then it took again near Pity to get Mountain. And for a while, I was, uh, I really hated the fact and even kind of regretted the fact that I put so many resources into trying to get Mountain. Especially because I got pity broken by um, uh, by passenger along the way. Uh, it obviously, it was all made up for by the amazing pulls on Summer Chen, but I was really concerned I was going to be screwed. However, when you read his lore and everything that went into the design of his character to do with the Manhattan Project and Oppenheimer and all that stuff, he's got really cool lore. His abilities look awesome. I love the sound effects of the lightning, the zappy zap and all that. He's got a good voice as well. The only thing uh, about Passenger I don't like and his E2 art is, you know, just, just sweet. Uh, I like how he's got the, you know, the railgun uh, robot alongside him. I like his weapons. You know, Elliot is a cool dude. And then you look at his his E2 art, I mean, just cogs in the machine, wielding the power of God, basically. I mean, just really cool. The only thing I don't like about his design is I don't like his fringe. It's the one thing I would change. Just let me change his fringe. Either make his fringe longer so it looks less straight or make it messier. That's it. It's the only thing I would change. But, and also, as I've been using him, you know, I've been uh, making more and more use out of him. I'm just waiting to get uh, the chip catalyst to promo him on my main account. Definitely going to be building him, uh, getting his module all the way to uh, E260. So Passenger, despite starting at pretty much a C or a B tier for me early on, Passenger you got into the S plus for me. Now he's the bottom of the S plus. He's not as cool as the others, but Passenger is one awesome dude. I like I like everything about him. I like his I like his lore. I like his story. I like his character. I like his voice. He's got cool art, uh, his abilities, his sound effects, everything. The only thing I don't like. Is that, is that goddamn fringe. The fringe annoys me. And what annoys me the most about his fringe is that it looks even worse on his sprite. Because when you've got less detail, it looks even straighter and it just looks kind of goofy. <laughs> but that's the only thing I don't like about him. But he's S plus tier. And so we come to the final one and let's just not beat around the bush. Thorns is the best character by far. Uh, I absolutely love thorns i like his design i like his character i like his personality even his brief appearance in closure closures secret files was great uh people make some really funny comics to do with thorns i like his uh his uh what's it called you know his crazy chemistry and pharmacist uh you know pharmacist stuff and there's also a great um uh they made a great sticker with thorns. Uh, where is it? Let me find it. Here we go. Thorns testing out his um, his mystery cocktail on the doctor. There we go. Like this is basically thorns in a nutshell. You know, like this is this is it. Like you know, I love this dude. He's so cool. And on top of that, I like it. I really like his design. It's got a lot of attitude in, you know, even in just in his E1. He's got the coolest looking weapon. It's such a cool looking weapon. Oh, 
I love how he feeds the poison into it. Oh, then his E2 art looks even more awesome. And one of the things I really like about his visual design, what they've managed to do is you, they really capture his personality because you can see how sloppy he is in terms of his dress. He doesn't care about the poison going everywhere. You know, he's got the pant leg is, is off. His shirt is half untucked. He's not even wearing the coat properly. His bag is, you know, is, can't even carry it properly. It's loose all over the place. You know, you got yourself the personality right there. I really like it. He, he He's like me. Uh, who doesn't bother to... I, I don't bother to cut my hair uh, that often. I sometimes get it too long. I have to tie it back. Uh, and then finally, it gets too annoying. And then I finally cut it off. He basically just forgets. Um, forgets to cut his hair. So, you know. Such a cool character. And I love his skills. I also like his uh, skill too. Um... Even though it's not that not that awesome of a skill, but I like how it, the ability works. Uh, I actually find that his skin is... Uh, I don't like his skin as much as his default, to be honest. Uh, no, the only thing in common between me and Thorns is the, is the hair. I am nowhere near as messy as this guy. I would be offended if anybody thought me as messy as this guy. <laughs> but yeah, and, and on top of that, he's got a really cool voice. Some great voice lines, you know. Ah, Thorns is awesome. I am so glad I, uh, so glad I got him. I use him all the time. And yes, so that's it. Now, let's have a look. Do I need to move anything? Now, unlike the female tier list where there's just way too many characters, uh, the best thing about, um, the best thing about the Thorns, uh, The thorn skin is this. Hang on, where is it? Now the problem is when you search for thorns and you try to find artwork of thorns, all you get is the damn thorns thornification of stuff. <laughs> uh, this Scotty thornification, blue poison thornification. They'll even thornify the uh, the skins of the different operators. <laughs> it's just... It's just so dumb. Right. Even when you just search for thorn skin, it's thornification of other people's skins. The first result is Carnelian's uh, being thornified. I mean, come on. <laughs> You're polluting my search results, you filthy degenerate. Uh, right. But where is that artwork of, um, of his skin? Someone modified it, and it is the best modification you'll ever see. Where is it? Does it anybody have the skin, uh, of him getting arrested? The, the artwork of him getting arrested. I just can't find it. N not even Google can save me in this case. But basically, it's the thorn skin, this one. But because he's carrying a weapon in a shopping center, uh, he's getting arrested by, by police officers. <laughs> And they've made it look really convincing as uh, as original artwork, as uh, official artwork. It's really funny, but I just can't find it. But yeah, it's Thorn's getting arrested. <laughs> it was on Reddit, and unfortunately you can't search for anything on Reddit, basically. And uh, yeah, it's really funny. Sadly, I can't find it. Uh, Ventus, you want to DM me something on Discord? Uh, it depends what it is. You're free to DM me, but depending on what it is, it depends on whether I'll, I'll uh, respond to it. See the art of Weedy Chasing Thorns. Uh, you mean the official uh, wallpaper one? I think I've actually got it downloaded. Uh, hang on, let me find it. Assets, uh, backgrounds. Where is it? Oh no, I didn't download it. 
but I could just find it over here. Uh, although I don't know if it's if this is the one you're talking about because uh, Weedy is not chasing thorns, or maybe she is. I don't know, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> but yeah, I love this. Uh, Ventus, yeah, sure. Uh, you can link it, link it to me. Uh, Thorns has obviously caused absolute chaos, and he's just... I'm out of here, guys! <laughs> Classic Thorns. But yeah. Uh, he's great. So... Uh, let's have a quick final look at the list to see if anything needs to move. I am perfectly happy with the S plus tier. S tier? Yes, I'm happy with that. Uh, A tier? I'm going to move you down a bit. And actually, I'll move you down as well. I think I, I like my old reliables. Uh, I think apart from that, I'm good with the A tier. The B tier. Yeah, I'm good with that. The C tier. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And then gray in the bubble tier. Uh, it'll stay there. Locked in. This is it. The definitive Husbando tier list. There is no debate. Uh, let me actually save an image of this. Uh, hang on, I'm going to move it to the other screen because I think it might show... <laughs> you can look at that for a second. Oh no, it's fine. It just downloads to the default location. Okay. All good. But yes. Here's the tier lists. Alright, let's see what you sent to me on Discord. Uh, all right, Ventus. Uh, okay. Hang on. The hell? Uh, all right, hang on. I need to copy the link and let's paste it here. Now, we're going to Pixiv, and let's hope Pixiv doesn't have any um, not safe work stuff around the edges. <laughs> so the context for this is, Doctor, come quickly. We need to find Miss Closure. Uh, it seems Mr. Thorns and his companions... Oh, no, hang on. That, that's uh, someone else's one. But this one. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so funny. I also like the meme at the bottom. Okay, good. So pics of not safe work stuff won't show up by default. Oh, that's a great comic. That is such a great comic. Okay, hang on. Uh, I'm getting a whole bunch of pings on Discord. Uh, someone's posted some memes. Yes, here's the, here's the thorns getting arrested. Uh, Salts, thank you for finding... Uh, the Thorns artwork. This is perfect. <laughs> Thorns getting arrested for bringing a weapon into a shopping center. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Yeah, I, I love I love how it's got the the sensor eyes. Because in um, in uh, countries like Japan, uh, they do uh, really respect the privacy of people when they're arrested and such. It, it totally feels like a, like it's canon. Uh, and then someone sent me something else. Uh, I got another ping. Uh, oh, that's a. Uh, Nico, I'll have to get back to you later to do with your question. Uh, and then 
Ah, yes. Hasper, you also sent me the same artwork. Yep. And then... Uh, no, I... Revolution, I'm not going to show that on the stream. That is, that is cursed. <laughs> I'm not showing that. Uh, and Fido... Uh... Oh, right, you were talking about the, the, the wallpaper. <laughs> but yeah, these are great. Almost every Thorns comic I've seen... Uh, almost every Thorns comic I've seen is uh, has always made me laugh. But yeah, cool character. Absolutely love him. And there we go. That's the tier list.